Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we were not necessarily here in this location. We were at a base further on down that way. Now, where we are now is near an ancient plaque. A ancient plaque that will teach us bits of the language. Hopefully. Um, I just need to remember where it's located. Oh, it's over here. Okay, cool. I flew this direction, uh, real quick before I started the episode, and now, of course, I'm gonna get some dihydrogen, because why not? Just to keep us stocked up on it, as you do. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, no. It always is falling. Always. All right, and cargo's good. All right, perfect. Now, just want to double check what these are. Cobalt and salt. Huh, interesting. All right, let's interact with this uh, ancient plaque, the cipher yearn fragment, whatever that means. brilliant light erupts from the ancient marker. It encircles me, engulfing my mind with the memories and voices of the Korvax echoes. The dreams of entities who once worshipped here become my own. The Atlas interfaces drift alone in the endless void. They are silent. They are unknowable fragments of an ancient whole, yet their imprint on time and space molds our existence. They are the equation and life is its answer. Through their monoliths, they give understanding to their boundless meaning and that of our own. Seek help with language. My knowledge of the Korvax convergence increases. Which is always nice. Fascinating. And now I can learn from a knowledge stone, which is funny enough nearby. I'll be damned. Okay. Alright, so we'll move a little further along. Uh, oh, there's a sentinel right to our right. And it's gone. Good. And we Plop. Knowledge stone. Learned the Corvax word for it. Okay. We've now calibrated the translator. Beautiful. Now we have to wait for the next thing. Scan to locate an alien outpost. Another one? Large outpost detected. Potential assistance. It's three hours away if I'm doing it on foot. Alright. At least it says it's three hours away if I'm doing it on foot. Maybe I'm doing it via ship. Oh, I just noticed there's sodium nitrate over there. <laughs> I'm not missing out on that. I'm sorry. I need to get sodium nitrate any chance I can. Especially when it's in large crystal form. Hello. All right. There's multiple crystals to boot. It's always nice. And pop. Goes the weasel. There goes that. And there's some damaged tech over there. I guess I'll get that too. I guess. Is that a big... Oh, that is a big thing. Oh, that's a big new thing. That is a... Big long word. Ephemophone. Ephemophone. Big old bird as far as I'm concerned. As long as that's the basic gist of what it is, I can work with that. There we go. Beautiful. All of it collected in one beam. Yay me. And there's also, I notice, a buried technology module. Grab that. Ooh. Not an insignificant amount of nanites. 
That is supposed to be mine. Let's mine it. Huh? There we go. Get that. Perfect. Ooh, four. Four salvage data out of that. Beautiful. Restore that land there, so it's not like we're leaving giant holes in the ground for fauna to just fall into. And let's head over to our ship and head to that large outpost base. Probably a good idea. Salt and sodium. I have a feeling I'll need salt in the future. I don't know why, but I do. And I don't have a lot of salt on me, so I'm just going to mine it here. The sodium is a nice side benefit, for sure. And it makes sense, because salt is partially sodium. So. Oh, that's going through the uh, smaller rock first before it goes through this. Well, I could always use phosphorus, too. And I can always use ferrite dust. Boy, ferrite dust is extremely useful. Nice, got more. And cargo, I'm up to ten. Ten salvaged... Whoops, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I keep hitting all the wrong ones. Ten salvaged datas, I can hold up to... Thirty? In this slot, I think? So... That's a good place to start. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Is there any more? Because I did some of those over here already. Is there any more that are closer to me other than that one I was at? That one's 384. This one's 314. And this one is 388. That's the closest. Nope, not that one. That one! 264. Guess it's the winner. Mark it too. And I'm going to walk over there. Because that's easier. Than bringing the ship up and down. Every couple of feet. To get some buried technology. It's a little more. Of a proper use of my time. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to gather some of this, too, while I'm here. There we go. Oh. There we go. It's funnier. It's funny that the hotter the uh, beam glows, the uh, faster it mines through stuff. Kind of gives you an incentive to run it as hot as possible. Well... Getting to this one might be a little difficult. At least it'll be difficult without also disturbing the native ecosystem at the same time. But I am nothing if not resourceful. And also an idiot, because there's no reason for me to <laughs> be doing all of this just for three salvage data. Eh, it's okay. Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. Oh, well. There's just a weird random pocket of open earth. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. All right. Go. Whee. I'm getting too used to having very high capacity jetpacks. I'm getting too used to it. Okay, you know what? Now it's about time to bring the ship back. The old Skylark of the Skies. And then we'll head over to that. There we go. Skylark of the Skies. This guy's Chip Skylark. Oh my god. I, I make that joke almost every time. But it's funny to me. <laughs> Oh, it's not that far away. I could easily just do it while on the planet's surface. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> Up we go. Wee. Alright. 
Because this is just faster. Whee! There we go. Gonna take some of my energy drink. Helps my process. Okay. How big an outpost is it, is the question. The approximate location. Oh, well, I'm going to assume it's this. I'm also going to land right where I should be. Why were those ships doing that maneuver? That was weird. But I'm assuming they're also coming here. So, yeah, I get to look at the pretty ships in a little bit. And, ooh, that ship actually looks pretty cool. It's not the color I'd prefer, but it does look pretty cool. That one looks pretty cool, too. Mmm, my curiosity's getting the best of me. I kind of want to see how it compares to my current ship. The electronic life forms dilated lights narrow and focus on my visor. They take a few seconds to analyze my data before indicating their willingness to trade. It seems that their starship is also available for purchase for the right price. Well, I kind of want to see it. Ho! Oakeg's Frozen Star Sailor. It's... Pretty sizable ship compared to my current one. But I can't buy it because I don't have enough credits. Damn it. Doug, damn it, damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale, damn it, damn. <sighs> Just to bring it back to the fucking Chip Skylark thing. Wait, no, you're cool too. Get back here. <sighs> Balls. Alright. Well, I'll just talk with uh, you. Entity Stne. <laughs> Insignificance does not register with the convergence. Of interest, but not of worth. Through the garble of Artemis's translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Corvax. I need to improve my reputation rank. Okay. I have to raise my standing by two. At mission boards or it's on space stations or all missions performed at the mission board will raise your standing. Can't I just do it by interacting with people? I'm pretty sure I can do that. Fascinating. It's word. Corvax creativity is word word. I don't fucking know what those are. A small data cube levitates in front of this Corvax, flashing a rhythmic pattern of lights. The life form's facial lighting pulses in sync. Uh, practice language skills. Research entity, whatever that word is, is silent, listening attentively. I try to think of an appropriate word to say. Research entity, um, unknown? Research entity seizes my arm, seeming to believe I am lost. They offer directions to a nearby point of interest. Interesting. Oh, they give me a planetary chart. And it's a chart... Did I read that correctly? Did I read that symbol? It is an ancient artifact site. Okay. Can I learn more word stuff from you? I can practice my language skills more, but I want to learn dialect from you. Um, let's try technology. Experiment. Oh, that sounds like something you would like. Let's try to see if I can use that word. You're a researcher. Of course you're going to like experiments. Ow. Not going to let me do that. Technology. Research entity seems inspired by my choice of word. They chatter back excitedly. The sentence is too long and complicated for me to follow. Well, at least they're excited. At least they're excited. That's the important part. Another research entity. Okay, cool. Unknown life form. I passed my test. Hey, <laughs> I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. I think you're for another thing that I don't have started yet. 
I don't have a base with a science terminal. I'm sorry. Oh, Traveler, please, reanalyze the situation. Corvax is sure you will come to a new conclusion. That might be the case, but I don't know what you're talking about. Lifeform technology would... Blah, Corvax, act, but... Yes, will, no, dip, stop. Okay, okay. I'm done trying. Uh, practice language skills. Echo analysis entity's attention is wholly intimidatingly focused on me. Uh, research. Echo analysis, at, echo analyst, rather, entity is very pleased by this word. Apparently, assuming I am fluent in Corvax, they begin to chatter at great length, gesturing towards my suit in multi-tool. Well, that up to my standing. That's good. That does not exactly what I intended. Oh, come on! Damn it! I wanted to... Damn it! No, I wanted to talk to you! Balls. Oh, well. No worries. You'll just stand there. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it doesn't count towards anything. So I just raise my standing. Just continue to raise my standing. I can do that. Entity Stni. Okay. He clearly still does not care about me. That's fine. Uh, I will use you to try and continue raising my standing. Uh, practice language skills. Okay, I have one more with you. Okay. Um... Echo? I hear something whir inside the research entity. They seem to forget me entirely, lost in their own contemplation of this word. Interesting. Okay. You, I don't need to talk to yet. You, however... Um... Practice language skills. Convergence? An invisible energy blasts my throat, effectively silencing me. Whoa. Oh. Oh. The echo analyst entity's electronic eye glares. The word I've spoken is important and inappropriate to utter out of context. Well, I just lost what I heard. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's try again and not piss him off this time. Uh, unknown. My repertoire of exploration-related words has impressed Echo Analyst Entity. They provide a gift of fuel to assist me in my journey. Well, that's nice. Oh, they actually gave me a warp cell. Oh, I'll be damned. It's actually pretty good. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do. Um, hmm. I will deal with this later. Welp, I have lost the standing I just earned. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go to the mission board, because at least that is going to give me proper, quick, and easy-ish increased standing. Atmospheric interference. How about... How about now? There we go. Perfect. Alright. Take me a little while to get there, but... Don't be too bad. Yay! See, it wasn't too bad at all. Ah, huh. I don't think... Yeah, those are not mine. Those are not mine by any stretch. Ooh. There we go. And now we land. And now we're good. Perfect. I went to the wrong side, but it's fine. I'm going to see if there's anything special I can do with my ship or something. Um, upgrade? Is that entirely possible at all now? No. Oh, boy. 
I need a lot of nanites and a lot of units to purchase storage if I'm doing anything at all. Ooh. Okay. Well, fair enough. I guess. Well, I go to this side for the mission board. Actually, maybe I can fix my oopsie with these guys. Electronic life form hurriedly conceals a schematic of circuits and wires as I approach. Okay. Um, priest entity. Echo? They flash their visor lights, but say nothing. They seem to doubt my understanding of the word I have spoken. Well, it's worth a shot. Um, dialect help. Uh, mystery. I've learned the word for ah. <laughs> ah! Okay. Um, I don't know what they're talking about. But it's fine. It's fine. Activates their speech parser, waiting to hear what I have to say. Um, tech. Corvac sings a delighted song. This word obviously touches upon a subject they favor. They offer me a module of what they, what appears to be homemade technology. Cyclotron module. I have no idea what that is. Guess I'll find out in a second. Okay, let's get some more language skill practice. Um, helping. Priest entity Rodov gives a slight bow and respectfully presents me with a gift. That's nice. Oh, that is very nice. Life support pack. Very nice. Let's put this on my starship, though, just so I have it there and not on my person the whole time. Um, yeah, I still need to get the freighter equipped with that one thing. Ugh. That's going to take a while. Before I can get that. Um, mm -hmm. Grade module acquired. Let's see, it's a ship thing for a weapon that I don't have. Well, I can at least dismantle it for stuff. That would be nice. And then it would also give me a wiring loom, which would help with this. Okay, sure. Dismantle that. Hey, gave me a lot of good stuff. And let's actually buy... What is all of this stuff? Five-dimensional Taurus. It's an advanced material. Huh. Optical solvent. Self-repairing heridium. Nanotube crate and superconducting fiber. Interesting. Hey! Oh, wow. I can buy a lot of wiring looms. I just can't buy it for money I don't have. So, three it is. At least I can afford that. Oh boy. And we'll insert them there. And now I can put stuff into my ship from very far away. Not extremely far away, but far enough away that it's significant. Mission Agent Hizdra. Level 4 Corvax mission. Take a photo of a land-dwelling creature. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's money, but... Just, I hate doing the photo crap. Alright, alright. Of a land-dwelling creature. Uh, that wouldn't be too difficult, I guess. Just have to go to a planet that would work well for that. Is that? I'll be damned! It's an actual Viking out here. Alert high. Gek will be blank interloper blank blank. Warrior broad shouldered and combative issues forth with a series of harsh barks. They stare at me, waiting for a response. Well, I could ask for help with them understanding. Do. I learned the word for do. Okay. 
didn't intend on accidentally selecting that one, but it is what it is. Absent-mindedly toys with their multi-tool as they listen for what I have to say. Command? Lieutenant Zatang's expression, previously gruff, melts into some other deeper emotion. The Viking whispers another word of their language, as though in exchange for mine. Oh! They teach me the word... They teach... They taught me the word for ancestors. Interesting. Nice. Cool. It's always nice when we get new words. Okay, they toy with their multi-tool. Blood! Hunches their brawny shoulders, drawing themselves into an intimidating posture. This word seems to have offend, uh, offended them. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. I'm really sorry. Uh, maybe we can make this better. Lieutenant Zatang. Uh, trading. Interprets this word as a trade request. They are not a wealthy Viking, but are impressed by my language skills and happy to share a little of their bounty. Well, a little money ain't gonna hurt. I'm just hoping to patch things up, but, I mean, a little money won't be terrible. I'm just flying over ships that aren't mine <laughs> to get to my own. Hey, is that the ship I couldn't buy? Is this the same one? Scholar Entity. Eh, uh, maybe. Yes, it is, except not as good as the one I saw. But I get to see the coloration a little better. It's more of a black and purple sort of thing going on. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Does this one... It is cheaper. But it is not something that I can still afford. <laughs> well, crap. Alright. It was worth a shot. Alright. And away we go. Wahoo! Um, where is my... Oh, my, uh... Frigate is all the way over there. My freighter, rather. So, I'm gonna bring it over here. If it'll let me. Okay, I'm not sure why it's not letting me do the thing. Huh. whoop ba da Hey, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Now I can actually get onto the ship. That was a little weird, but okay. That's fine. I guess. Cool. All right. Well, let's first check in on our fleet who we sent away. No, I sent them to something. I just don't remember what they were doing. Uh, let's see. It was not there. It's there. All right. The fleet is back, so let's debrief the commander. Got a decent amount of units. Seems to be a very decent amount of units. Alright. I'll take it. Nice. Nearly 200,000. That ain't too bad. Let's set up the uh, ex next expedition. Let's see. What can we do? Well, the one that would probably bring us the most money is the material loading expedition. Problem is, I don't think I have enough good ships for it. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Uh, return? It does meet the f difficulty requirement. Do I have anything I can give them? No. Damn it. But I can do the fuel. Oh, well, this will give me the most money by the end of it, by far. So, let's have them go do that. Okay. And that puts it on this computer. Okay. 
something we'll have to look into as we go. Alright. And let's grab stuff in there. A life support gel. Okay, cool. Open that. For the condensed carbon. What about the other one? Antimatter housing. Okay. That's fine by me. Um, put that there, then. Huh. The phosphorus. We'll put this here. Okay. And then the salt we'll put over here next to the chlorine. Would you stop? Okay, it's pinned in the log. That's what the problem is. Or is it? Huh. Interesting. So it doesn't specify what type of creature. I could just technically do any creature. Okay. That isn't terrible. Um, put that there. And definitely put this out of my system stuff. Put it right here. There we go. That's good. That's good. Because eventually farming will be a thing, and it's best to have myself prepared for that. Alright. That's good. I think we're good on the fleet frigate for now. Time to head on out. Oh, wait. Is there anything I should be selling? No. No. Eh. Eh, put that there. Good enough. Okay. Oop. Didn't mean to run into the wall. Oh, you bastards. I didn't even get to see you. That's fine. It's whatever. Not like it matters much. Away we go! And let's go to... An unknown planet. See what's up with them. They're a caustic planet. Fungal mold, copper, ammonia, and salt. Oh, I can't check that from now. From here. <sighs> I probably don't have a lot of ammonia. Be good to have a backup amount. Plus, fungal mold is something I might need to grow later. Okay, sure. Let's go to this planet, see what's going on on it. It's a ways away. Nope. Ow. Hailing channel. Ship volatile. Blah, 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 blah. Communicator image sputters, the signal weakening rapidly. Research entities. Ship appears to be in urgent need of repair. Well, I have a microprocessor. The life form's eyes widen with gratitude. They give me what they can spare before departing to repair their ship. Well, that earned me a Corvax uh, relationship increase. So now I just need to do this mission and then I'm good. Good on me for having that. Okay, cool. Um, forgot to put those on the friggin'. That's on me. <laughs> that is my mistake. Another one? Okay. Divine Atlas. Carapace, blur, 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 all Corvax, blank for units. Wish to trade. Alright, interesting. Have a convergence cube, a casing, some silver and selen selenium. Selenium, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Fortunately, I don't really have much I'm willing to sell right now. Sorry to say. Bye. Alright. 
Let's get back going to this planet, huh? All right. Almost there. Perfect. And I just need to find a spot to land. That won't be too difficult to maneuver from. Whoa. Some of the plants on this planet. What the hell is that? Can we find a spot to land, please? Right here. Be great, right? There we go. Okay. Well, I crushed something underneath my ship. My bad. What the hell is that? That's a massive plant that's letting off some sort of gas, it looks like. What's going on with that? Huh. Primary element carbon, secondary element fakium. Fakium. Dookie. That's what that is. Or same sort of makeup as Dookie, I guess. Alright, there we go. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Well, I'll be scanning things for the next while. Huh. There's some ammonia right there. Okay. There's some weird thing on the other side of this hill. What is that? Oh, oh you little bastard. I should have expected you. Should have expected you. There we go. Charge the mining beam. And probably should do that for the life support too. The what? Um, I have no idea what that is. What the hell is that? It looks so fucking weird. Alright, more plants. Might as well scan them. Sulfurine. Interesting. That's something I could use later on. An identified plant there. What's that? One of those, I guess. Um, that's a copper deposit. Don't necessarily need that yet. Okay, what the hell bells? Is something that's hopping. That much I can tell. It's about all I can tell, but... What the f fuck is this thing? That is really weird looking. Okay. That is just a hopping creature. Okay, I just got passed through by whatever the fuck the other thing was. Notes, massive tongue. Okay. That's enough of that joke. I'm uh, moving on. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's moving all weirdly. Notes unripe fruit. Well, I mean... I can't even tell where the fruit would come from. That is... That is weird. It just kind of undulates. A little loosey-goosey. It's a little weird. Alright. Okay, well, moving on from that... You're going to take a creature of s some sort of standard and get a picture of it. I don't think those really count. But at the same time, I can't really say for sure if they do or not. So...
kind of curious if I could get a picture of them at all. Actually. Um... Hey, there we go. That is... How does that constitute a creature? It just looks like a bunch of noodles all bundled together. Like a fucking glow stick noodle. Uh, if it counts, it counts, I guess. Uh, okay, gotta take the screenshot with that. I think, so... There we go. I'll just cut out those weird bits with the uh, button. Because none of that was supposed to happen. <laughs> anyway. A couple of unidentified plants. I guess we'll figure out what they are. So explore this plant a little bit more. Huh. Interesting. Ah, yeah, I know, I know. It's weird how some of these things just phase in and out of existence. Makes sense, but it's just weird. Alright, well, I did the thing. I did the thing that was required, anyway. So that means I just need to get back on my ship, get back to the space station, and then I'm all good. Or at least as near as I can tell I'm all good. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what's nearby. Huh. And not a lot. Not a lot of useful stuff, anyway. Yeah, is what it is. Time to get out of here. Whee! Away we go. Whoop, that was a little too far up. There we go. There. Heading to the mission agent. And in the meantime, I'm going to refill the pulse engine. Good. An anomaly detector. When did I pick that up? Ooh. Seems to be an event that's going to happen soon. Three, two, one. Oh. Criminal Fugitive. Where are they, I wonder? Apparently this away. But where'd they come from and why? Ah. There they are, over there. No. Gonna head that way. Whee! I'm going to have my rocket launchers set to ready. And pow! Oh! They're pretty strong. Oh boy. This one's actually going to be a difficult fight. A little bit. Oh boy. Okay. Usually the rockets are a good opening salvo to figure out their defenses. And they are definitely... Not good enough. <laughs> Tell you that much. Ah, well. Going to the mission agent will take forever unless I'm doing this. There we go. Whee! Alright. Time to head back onto the ship and then get my second increased standing unit, I guess we should call it, with uh, the Corvax. Unless I technically already did that with the other thing. 
increase uh, your standing. Okay, I didn't do that yet. I did get the bounty though, right? Pretty sure I did. It'd be stupid if I didn't. Actually, I probably didn't. That's an ongoing bug that I should be aware of. <sighs> oh well. Wee! All right. Talk to the mission agent. Hand it off, and we good. Thank you for the money. For the noodle creature I took a picture of. Alright. Scan Flora for level 2 Corvex mission. It's interesting, but I'm not quite that desperate for anything. Standing is now improved. I now gotta go back to the alien life form I talked to on the other planet? Ah. God, it's gonna take forever. Okay, fine. Um, you know what? You know what? I will do that in the next episode. First, I gotta drop some stuff off at my frigate. So, uh, I'll just end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and doing my best to get, you know, some more info in trying to help Artemis. And uh, in the meantime, trying to make sure I have enough stuff done when it comes to uh, upgrades and, you know, having money and all of that to be able to help him further, I guess, and, or help me further, I guess, really, because I'm the one that's really needing the money, I guess. It may be selfish, but it's helpful for me to help him, so let's do it. I don't see why not. For you.